Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we are going to expand the motion matching traversal system and make it work with any mesh, not just those boring cubes. First let's create a child's blueprint of the level block traversable. Right click and choose create child's blueprint class. Name it something like custom traversable. Open it, go to the viewport and select the original cube. In the details panel search for hidden in game and check it. We will need it for collision but we don't want to see it. Next select the text render, search for visible and turn it off. Now add a new static mesh component to the default scene route and import any mesh you like. I'm using a fence here, but you can use whatever fits your scene. In its details panel search for collision and set the collision preset to no collision. Only the cube handles collisions, not the mesh itself. Next select the original cube again and adjust its position and scale so it perfectly wraps around your mesh. That cube defines the traversal volume. Once everything looks right, hit compile and save. Then drag your new child blueprint into the level and hit play. Walk up to your mesh and you'll see the player now climbs or jumps just like with the default cubes. And here's another example. This time with a wooden platform on four legs. If you want the player to walk underneath it and still be able to climb on top, don't scale the traversal cube to the whole mesh. Just cover the platform area itself. This way the player can freely move below it but the system still recognizes the top surface as the climbable era. A small tip. If you want to keep the collision of the legs, it's best to split the mesh into two parts. One for the platform and one for the supports. That's because the traversal mesh needs to have collision disabled, but the legs should still block the player. Now let's take a closer look at how the system decides which animation to play, based on where the player is in front of the object. If the width of the edge in front of the player is less than 0.6 meters, nothing happens. No motion matching animation plays, it just ignores the object. Height and depth don't matter here. But if the width is 60 centimeters or bigger, things start to get interesting. If the depth is less than 60 cm, the player will jump if the height is under 1 meter and 25. For taller obstacles it triggers a climb animation and the player jumps to the other side. Now if both the width and depth are 60 cm or more, the system uses a slightly different logic. For obstacles at least one meter high, the player will climb and end up standing on top. If the height is smaller, I recognized the only issue I could not fix yet. If the player is moving towards the obstacle, everything works fine, but if the player stands in front of the obstacle, this happens. It climbs up to one meter, hovering in the air and then drops to the correct height of the mesh after the climb. I've tried to fix that issue but couldn't find a working solution yet. If anyone knows how to fix that, leave a comment. The maximum climbable height is 3 meters and 25. And there is another important thing. These measurements aren't based on the mesh itself. 
the system only looks at the distance between the player and the traversal ledges. Even if your mesh looks taller or shorter, what really matters is how the ledge are placed relative to the player. Which makes perfect sense. So you can actually climb a 3.3 meter height obstacle if the player is just standing on a small 5 centimeter platform. And that's it for today. I hope you liked this tutorial and it was helpful. Leave a comment if you want more tutorials like this. Cheers!